Secondly, I believe I'm, I'm maybe a misunderstanding, but I think that uh, Koran is actually dropping out and he's mm -hmm. not going to be able to compete uh, for losers. So I think we're going to be going straight from this into grand finals. Unless I misunderstood then, in which case, uh, just let us know. I think that is the case, and but yeah. We'll that see. is in fact the case. All right. So this is, it says loser signings. This is really losers fine. Well, um, I mean, no, but. <laughs> for, for emotional purposes, it's losers fine. For emotional. Yes. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, so Jay Grunt doing a fantastic losers ooh. run, as we said before, making it all the way here to losers semis. And he's now having to face down uh who's also been on a tear through losers. And this kind of matchup, it so Greninja has some of the best mobility across the board out of any character in the game. Mm -hmm. And I'm really curious to see how Jay Gun is going to use that against Steve specifically, a character who's kind of on the slower side of things. Yeah, and because Steve is also pretty light, Greninja is one of those characters that likes to rack up combos. So that's a way. So they both are sort of like light characters that really get their damage through big combos. I think the difference might be not only their speed, but Steve is a little bit more consistent with the combo enders. Oh, just shielding on that platform. Kind of a call out. In general, Greninja's grab game, I mean, at lower percents, it can lead into some things, and he does also have okay-ish kill throws, but it's a slow grab, and for the most part, a lot of the times, Greninja doesn't want to just be throwing out call-out grabs in neutral. Mm -hmm. So, especially if you're on the platform when he can't even get to you. And... Any hit now will kill just like that one. And because of that, uh not only has a stock lead, but diamond on deck. So if they want, they can build one once these gold weapons break. Because gold is very fast. Just like real gold. Hmm. It's, it's very not. Nice. Yeah. Fight things out, blow up and build out of gold. Anyway. Yeah, 69% and growing. Although we haven't really seen huge ledge traps. We saw earlier in bracket how sometimes uh will build a block and throw out the lava and it just covers so many options. But it hasn't really been a stock ender against Jay Grunt so far at least. See how that ends up faring as we move on in this best three out of five. And using that block actually is might be much more important than I thought earlier because it's able to block out the water shurikens pretty well. They're out of iron. Okay, yeah. they got some back. But because of that, they couldn't use anvil before. Yeah, we, you saw that the animation went in and there was just no anvil to come out. Mm -hmm. They are holding on to their first stock so well. Yeah, and just, I, well, you can see kind of why. Look at the way they're playing right now. Just throwing out these jabs, these forward tilts, these neutral airs, not trying to do anything too crazy. Recognizing that, you know, there are, it kind of, he, it's required that he messes up in order for Jake Grunt to get the kill. And in the end, doesn't block that shuriken. It's going to cost him. But he has a massive lead here. Us doing just fine in the, uh, with, with the, in the lead department here. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. He's gone. Ugh. That's never good. I mean, he was at 100%. It's not like he died at, like, 40, like we've seen happen earlier. That's true. But, yeah, but dude, Jay Grunt, this is, this is looking pretty rough for you. Yeah. Like, this is a full stock lead and then some change. Mm. Ooh. Oh. Huge damage. I think it might have been some questionable DI, but not enough to actually kill just yet. Yeah. Oh. But did both? Did the cart hit him? Did the cart just double dip? I think so. <laughs> the Steve planking. I mean, he's gonna run out of materials, right? Oh, it worked That's out. That's what you would think. What? Oh, that didn't actually. Oh kill, no. That's. That's another diamond too. <gasps> oh, 
Also, I, I, I think it's really cool to pay attention to, in neutral, where he puts the blocks based on the character he's fighting against. The that that sucks. Back air just didn't work. Um, but he's putting the blocks at this very particular height oh, no. against Greninja, and a beautiful job right there. Seeing the platform, I think the platform just arrived. Did it not? Maybe I'm yes, it did. Misremembering that. Yeah, it just arrived and immediately was able to adjust. Well, not just arrived. It had been there for a little while, but... Yeah, it arrived recently. Just, yeah, and, and getting in there, realizing that that up. was the exact option, and just carefully waits and reacts to the roll. Up smash ends up doing it. That's a mm -hmm. two-stock victory. Yeah. For um... Mm. Uh, I'm sorry. Um is completely different. Uh, is now, but like that, that's such a dominant win because they were in control that entire time. Jay Grunt might be a little bit off kilter because Uh has been playing quite a while for this tournament throughout this loser's bracket, has been playing more recently as well. So Jay Grunt may be a little cold. Now, one thing is that Jay Grunt, he was able to find hits here and there, but he wasn't doing the really big combos that we definitely know he's capable of doing. He mm. wasn't doing the drag down up airs, you know. 50 60 percent combos filled with resets uh part of that is that for the most part uh is not getting hit by those really big those really effective combo starters so it might have to be that jay grunt has to figure out another way to get the really important moves going mm -hmm. yeah and one of the other things i think that's pretty big in this matchup is the fact that sort of like we fit trainer and like yeah sort of like we fit trainer steve doesn't have to engage in neutral if they feel like it they could just go off stage and just say i'm not gonna play right now i'm gonna wait also in general the burst option or something you have like that yes. uh, Jake one has to look out for we saw in that last game how he went for the up b out of the corner but also generally just that mine card it just zooms so fast and for a character that's normally so slow like steve it it's almost jarring and it the, it closes so much distance you have to be aware of it you can't just be caught off guard by it every time yeah exactly and oh, oh. Yeah, those edges give such great iron. As we're seeing right now, quite a lot of iron has been mined. This stage, while pretty good for both of these characters, you got to also think about the resources that you get on this stage. And oh, oh my god. Oh. That was cute actually. Kind yeah. of was I don't I would, would there have been a way for Steve to punish a downer on a block like that? I don't think so. Regardless though, 120% onto Jay Grunt. Not looking too hot at the moment. Though he is at a now right now, there are definitely things that can lead into a kill. Yeah, he's starting to look for them, trying to pressure that shield. Mm. I'm liking the mobility from him, very vertical, but oh, ends oh. up committing to that dash and gets down in for it. Oh, and I'm getting word that so if you destroy the crafting table, you can prevent it from uh, you can prevent it from respawning for a bit, and that could possibly come to use later on. If the weapon breaks and then you just decide to bully it, which might be why they're covering it actually right now. Does he have enough diamond for a diamond weapon yet? Yes. Do you need just one diamond or do you need multiple diamonds? I'm pretty sure it's just one diamond for diamond weapon because I've seen people just Correct. get their first one. Yeah, so any extra diamond, that's just more diamonds on deck. Again with the planking here. Oh my. Last time around, it actually worked out really badly because he wasn't careful and got hit with the... <gasps> okay, all right. 
It ended up expending a lot of material from... He's, oh, okay, we're still actually at this stage of the game. How much does he have? Enough. <laughs> enough. I mean, clearly enough, if they can then just anvil right after. And, and they have I'll, an extra diamond. Yeah, and the oh. fact that he's been doing that means that... I mean, we're probably not going to see a timeout, but... There might come a point where Jay Grunt is just going to be pressured to attack him. <gasps> okay, oh. right there, the drag down up there. Finally going to put him on that platform. Great setup, and that means takes out his first stock at least, but similar to game one, this is looking very, very grim for, uh, for Jay Grunt. Yeah, this looks so scary for Jay Grunt. Because just one good hit, and that will be another, like, 40 damage. Because it is it is gold, so it doesn't deal quite as much. But you can get a lot of those extra hits in, and the frame data from it is just so much better. He can mine from the side of the stage? Yes, he can. <gasps> so, wait, can he just do that infinitely? Yes. Oh. That's it why he's doing it all the time. At least until you until your tools break. Okay, I see. Which gold not the most sturdy of tools. Yeah, Jay Grun right now kinda seems like he's struggling to figure out a game plan against this. Oh? Ooh, but the side B, that's an option we had not really seen much of, especially in a neutral like state. And that's really big for Jay Grun. He still has, still looking really bad for him, 107%. And uh, does uh have diamonds yet? No, he doesn't. No, you can tell on the meter uh, yeah. if there are diamonds. And because of that, I think it's a very good job that Jay Grun's been doing of just preventing uh from getting those diamonds by pressuring, getting in, using that superior mobility. Yeah, and you know, if when you look at this percent now, all of a sudden, Jake Run has really started to manage to climb this back. In fact, right there, that could have been massive. Mm. Uh, all right, ends up getting it. We see, we've seen him pull that off multiple times, even just tonight. So reliable for Steve. Um, but by the end, that ended up being very close. And I think part of that was that us wasn't playing very proactively. He was kind of yeah. gathering materials. Just like, it felt like he was experimenting with certain kinds of defensive play. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, with a lead that big, all you need to do is maybe just annoy your opponent. You know, get them to think annoyed. Because if someone is annoyed or angry, they start to take more risks. And if you can get someone to get into that mindset, that means that you can punish a lot more things. Can we just talk about that accidental godlike spacing? <laughs> what do you mean accidental you're right <laughs> are you are you gonna claim that he didn't perfectly know the exact <laughs> pixel where shuriken would despawn and therefore he could mine freely mine an extra element <laughs> jeez <laughs> good lord oh we got to see it again <laughs> Steve's mistech animation is hilarious. They all look the same. You can't tell what the hell he's doing. <laughs> so gotta fit in with that lore. And so, okay, we have a 2-0 lead for Uh. Now, we actually haven't seen Uh and Sassy play yet, correct? <laughs> we haven't. Yeah, I don't believe so. So if uh does take this next game, we will be having a uh, another fresh matchup for Grands. But in the meantime, we do have to work our way through this first. Let's see how, what adjustments Jay Grunt is going to make here. Because those last two games just felt decidedly in us favor. Yeah, and bring it to town as well. I don't know. This seems like a stage that Steve just loves to play on. 
I think that Greninja also does decently on the stage, and I feel like, honestly, there were adjustments in gameplay that needed to happen before the stage, you know? Definitely mm. don't go back to Kalos, because that planking thing was silly. Yeah. Oh, that's a tick. The, the wow. Spacing? Ha! Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. 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 And that's a lead. That's Jay Grunt's first lead of the set, which is important. Yeah, let's see how it ends up. Well, I do think that by the end of that game, too, I did feel like Jay Grunt had adapted in some very important ways. So let's see if he can take those lessons learned and convert it into an actual get himself a win on the board here. So far, things are going pretty good for him, but he needs to play at a, as we've seen, he needs to play at a very consistent level if he wants to stay ahead of uh, here. Very true. And this is just so scary as well, because Uh has been shown to be able to just make comebacks out of nowhere and also be able to just kill it pretty much any percent. Like, just get a forward air here. Just oh no! Oh, those platforms helping out huge though. <sighs> Platform Sean coming in clutch. Mm -hmm. Not clutch enough though. And what was once a massive lead for Jay Grunt is now just 54%. And diamonds are on deck. So once a uh, feels like it, they can definitely just get to that diamond weapon. Oh, wow, what a what? smart, that down air. It felt like it, just knowing that Jay Grunt would end up being in his space. And now this ledge trapping. For the most part, Jay Grunt hasn't really been caught by the ledge traps. But even still, <laughs> Diamond Weapon is on board here. 43%, he's not really in danger of dying just quite yet, but... Every like hit that he takes, especially from a diamond weapon, is gonna bring him closer to that threshold. Nice job getting the forward air, but it's not quite enough to actually do the deed just quite yet. And one big thing right here is that there is no iron right now. So they cannot use the minecart or the anvil. He did? Oh what no. Did he they SD'd. Oh no, the, the the sister knocked the controller out of his hands. <laughs> It all comes together. <laughs> Coltman's sister. Just too <laughs> good. <laughs> She's the menace. Finally unmasked. <laughs> but anyway, 82% uh, on Jay Grunt. And I believe he does still have Diamond Weapon. So mm -hmm. we've seen that, like, Diamond back air has probably kill right about now at the ledge at least. Yeah, it definitely can. So Jake Runt definitely needs to get a little bit more careful. Or maybe actually no, pushing pushing seems to be the right play because that's not giving uh enough time to think. Yeah, and he's getting he's able to right now at least he's getting consistent chip damage he's not necessarily getting those huge combos but the shuriken here a few hits of back air there and 84 percent onto uh is actually really scary for him even if he manages to take this stock he's gonna jay grunt's basically gonna be spawning in with several kill options if he gets like a down tilt up smash dash attack might be able to like lead to a kill so <gasps> or just up smash raw right now and somehow the move works properly yep. That's going to be Jay Grunt with a game on the board. Textbook and tier. Yeah, let's look at some of these kills here. This first kill, he missed out on it right there, but I think he, this is the one where he cleaned up immediately afterwards. Uh, he just yeah. misses four times. <laughs> Three times, rather. Yeah. That was amazing spacing on Uz's part, but it wasn't quite mm -hmm. enough to actually... In yeah. the end, he just there was too much lag at the, at the very end of it. In fact, would he have killed... If he had hit him with the forward air, he would have survived. Yeah. 
So he should have eaten that hit early on. Power of hindsight. Mm -hmm. Oh, immediately starting out with this huge up tilt chain. That's 50%. Oh, no. And he's getting all these materials mined. With all that iron, it is looking fantastic Ooh. for recovery, oh, for offense. That might have killed if it had connected. But instead, as it stands... All right, actually, percent's kind of going back and forth here. We are seeing Jay Grunt get these early damage combos that he had kind of been missing in the last few games. Yeah. And I was just trying to find the way to pressure even more. Bad almost. Good timing if on Jay that. Grunt had get up. Wrong. Oh, and here we have... <laughs> This edge guard possibly no, not enough. Doesn't react to the neutral getup quite fast enough, and that means that now U uh, is back on stage. Only about of like there were points, half a percent separating them. But that up smash oh. from Steve, it's so strong when it connects, and right there, connect it did. Jay Grunt has to. We haven't really seen him be able to make a comeback from when he's behind yet see if this will be the change because he's made, done such a good job making it all the way here to loser semis but he has a shot at being in grand finals if he stays in this oh and stay in it he might just do because jay grunt has just taken that stock very convincingly too with a solid down tilt into forward air conversion but they gotta continue with that momentum and i was just not letting them yeah, and I'm actually liking this evasion from Jay Grunt at the moment. Staying vertical, but also trying to stay slippery like the little frog that he is. Oh! Wow. It feels like Ah uh, has not had any time to start up the things that he wants to do. Right, as I say, that a little bit of a commitment off stage means that finally the space has been given. Uh, now in the middle of things, able to mine, able to set some of those blocks. But for the most part, Jay Grunt hasn't really been touched. A couple counter hits here and there, but it seems like the, the big thing is the movement, the evasion. It feels like he knows now how he can avoid those big moves. As I say that, an up smash clipping him. Not enough to actually kill him just yet, but now he's at 60. Things start to get scary. And surviving that up smash was so big because that means that Ah uh has even more time to just get this going. And this is not looking the greatest for... <gasps> that was perfect hurt box shifting to be able to just barely avoid it. All right. Uh, taking some time, calming himself down, going to the legend, planking a bit, but oh, he's still in the corner and a grab forward throw at the ledge is enough. Jay Grunt, despite the fact that this game started off so badly for him, the fact this set started off so badly for him, he is in the lead and this could be huge for him. Will he be able to actually do anything with it though? <gasps> Remains to be seen. That's a broken weapon though. No weapon and his disposal. He needs to craft a new one. Oh, okay. That'll give them enough time. Just barely. They need to get a kill very soon. Ugh. Okay. Does he have diamond weapon now? I can. He does not. He has gold. He has golden weapons still, so he doesn't have that massive or the real kill power just yet. Absolutely. Gold is actually on the lower end of the kill power among the weapons so definitely not ideal <gasps> oh, oh catching him out of the cart that was perfect yeah and although this is still a sizable lead for jay grunt oh no maybe i shouldn't have said anything there we go <laughs> it's not so sizable no more 50 percent off of a single up tilt and diamonds are on deck now, or online, not even on deck anymore. So, this could just be one good hit away from game for both of these players. 
Jay Grunt, if this is what was working out for him earlier on, just <gasps> being very evasive, finding that, that forward air almost doing it outright, but not quite enough. He got trumped, but he refreshes his invincibility with the block. Very smart. Still trapped at ledge. How is he going to get out of here? The pressure from all these angles. How did he not die? What? I don't know. Now Jay Grunt going all the way off stage, being a little bit aggressive. What? Four tilt I does it. I've never seen that move killed before. I mean, there it, <laughs> there it is. Jay Grunt staying alive so far. We actually have a game five now between these two players. I was not expecting this at all. We are getting a game five in losers semis. And it's effectively also losers finals in terms of who faces uh, Sassy Fly. Winner is guaranteed Grant. second, essentially. Yes. And for Jay Grunt, it's actually a chance to get back at the man who knocked him into losers all of those ages ago. Mm hmm. And Uh just wants to play against Sassy, you know, just get their shot. Yeah. And it all comes down to this. We're going back to town and city here. I think the stage is good for both players, and I. I think it's appropriate after seeing so many games played on it, both in this set and in this bracket as a whole. I think this is a fine spot for a game five. Absolutely. And it's got KK Bubblegum. I love this song. But oh man, Uh has seemed to turn completely on right now, getting such a huge lead here in terms of percent. And. Yeah. Perhaps that last game was a bit of a wake-up call. He needs to step it up. Otherwise, this shot at Grand Finals is going to just disappear. I have to say that, though. Some nice damage coming out from great Jay Grunt. I was saying earlier that when this bracket first started that, like, Greninja doesn't often just go for grab and neutral. But now we're seeing it, understanding that, oh, <laughs> oh might be a bit afraid. Oh, might be inclined to shield against him now. Oh. And that's really big because once you've gotten your opponent to be afraid, that means you can really do whatever you want to them. Well, at the very least, you can play around those options. Shadow sneaking to the other side, but still in range to get forward smashed. Uh, has a lead and oh, that lead is gonna get much bigger. Doesn't quite get the full combo out of that, but 47%. Is he dead? Oh, Makes barely sense. making it over the blocks. That is huge because Greninja does not have any hitboxes on that uppy, so that means that they really have to work hard to get around the blocks instead of possibly going through. <laughs> Dude, that, that back air snuck in at just the right time, just the right spacing. Now Jay Grunt actually has managed to even up the stock count between these two, but oh, still has a lead, even if only by a few percents at the moment. Wow, I was doing a great job of, even though they get hit by the combo starter, they avoid the <gasps> combo, like, tool. Mm. Oh. Jay Grunt managing to wrestle a lead back after everything that's happened. Another dash attack, but an air dodge, getting him away from the worst of it, and a counter attack. It feels like that stock could have been gone several times there, but Uh is alive and kicking. Going off stage like that, I understand the motivation behind it, but okay, Jay Grunt actually managing to take a stock here. That's another one down. This is tournament life for Uh. And after he was doing so well, after going up 2-0 against Jay Grunt, <gasps> convincingly so in those first two games, he might actually be dropping out of the tournament against him. This is looking very scary for uh right now. 28%, but Greninja is a character that can definitely make that damage rack up more. <gasps> so sneaky! <gasps> And he's gone. He's out of there. Only 28% able to be done. We have a last stock between these two. 
Ooh, and diamonds are active now. That means that all can build up that diamond weapon and just get so much damage once they feel like it. Seems like Jake is aware of that, still staying within range to constantly pressure off stage without a jump. Can Jake Grunt goes for that low commitment? Puts himself at the ledge as a result, but this is one thing we had not seen earlier. Able to turn that bad situation around. Another crab call out. 109% down tilt forward air at the ledge will probably do it. Another. Oh, he doesn't have invincibility. He didn't stand back on the block. And that means that Jay Grunt making the reverse 3-0 victory goes on to grand finals where he gets his run back against Sassy. Wow. And one of the things I really liked about at the very end of that game five. So once uh had the diamonds he on did not deck. He was pixels away from landing on that. Oh, that's, that's got to hurt. Oh my God. One thing that Jay Grunt did that was so good was the moment uh had the diamonds on deck in the resource tab, Jay Grunt would not let uh get to the crafting table at all. Yeah. He was he was playing keep away. He was uh, he was puppy guarding it. Yeah, it was and but also it was, he was doing it through pressure. Where yes. he was just throwing out these neutral airs, throwing out these moves on his shield, grabbing him, knowing that after <laughs> you know, when you have a huge lead going up 2-0 into like what is a really big match considering that they decided who got to grand finals. Uh, who got payout? I just realized because, um, yeah, I uh, didn't get payout. We only had payout for top three. Mm -hmm. So that decided who was in the money. And when wow. you're up by a lot, and then you start to see it slip away from you. It's just a, it can be a terrible, debilitating feeling. And by the end there, definitely, I think part of it was Jay Grunt picking up on those habits. The shielding mm -hmm. habits specifically from uh, but at the same time, Oh, was scared enough to be shielding like that.